So in the simple radiation balance method of estimating evaporation, we made the assumption that there is no sensible heat transfer to the atmosphere. And that's not a very good assumption. If you think about air moving past a body of water, there's going to be some sensible heat exchange there. You're going to have uh, the temperature of the water either cooling that air or warming that air, so there'll be an energy transfer. So we, we really do need to look at that. So let's see if we can revisit this, um, this energy balance and, and try and account for a simple way of, uh, and try to find a simple way of accounting for the relative influence of sensible heat and latent heat of vaporization. So there's a term called a Bowen ratio. And we give that as B. And that's the ratio of the sensible to the latent heat. So in the case where most of the energy transfer is happening because you've got uh, sens sensible heat transfer to the atmosphere, so maybe there's not a lot of evaporation, then Bowen ratio is going to be large. And when the w it's a very dry but windless day, and then most of the energy is going to converting liquid to vapor water, we're going to have a very small Bowen ratio. So I can substitute that into our radiation balance. And we simply take this E sub L term out here, and then we say that we have 1 plus B, which is the Bowen ratio. So now, what we want is our evaporative flux. And so again, we solve for E sub L. And we put that in our equation here. And what we end up with is something that looks very much like our, our previous radiation balance, except now we still have our evaporative terms in there. So we have radiative loss minus G minus the change in storage of energy with respect to time. And that now is divided by the density of water times the latent heat of vaporization times 1 plus B. <coughs> so it looks pretty similar to our radiation balance if we ignore these two terms, if we ignore the sensible heat transfer to the ground and the change in storage, in other words, assume steady state, except now we're still including the sensible heat transfer, I mean, the sensible heat transfer to the atmosphere using the Bowen ratio. So let me write that again. We have now when we have steady state and no transfer to the ground, we can use still a fairly simple balance, but we can include the effect of sensible heat in our calculation of evaporative flux.